This rant was recorded in front of a live audience. I do not claim to be better than any of these people, but I do claim that the system is broken. Thank you. I mean, from every single time I've ever streamed, I've never gotten more than like two or three people. And I just find it so bewildering that you can stream for like an entire like hour and 20 minutes and only get two people. This site has millions, millions, millions and millions of daily active users and none of them come on cross. And also it makes me wonder too, like, you know, I've got 10,000 subscribers and I usually get maybe like 100, 200 views per video. So a lot of those subscriber numbers just seem like they're fake almost and probably just bots for all I know. Um, I mean, honestly, who really knows? I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I feel like they're probably just all bots. But the thing is, you know, you think that, you know, with an average view count of like 100, 200 and like 10,000 subscribers, you'd probably get at least maybe five to 10 people in the stream. But uh, no, just absolutely nothing. You know, honestly, I'd hate to be that guy. You know, I bet a lot of people are like, oh, I'm shadow banned. Like, honestly, a lot of times I feel like I have really good thumbnails. Like I have good art, artistic thumbnails. You know, I'm pretty involving. I talk a lot. You know, I do a lot of things. Like, I'm basically a better ex Like, I, I I think the biggest thing that I find most frustrating is that I see these big streamers and I see these big YouTubers. Like, I think the, the one of the more bigger streamers that I hate the most is XQC. Like, I can't understand a single f***ing word that this guy ever says. And I swear to God, the man is absolutely brain dead. His takes on everything are just dog shit in general. Like. He always, I can't even bring up like specific examples, but it's just like every single time I, I see or something about him, he's just saying something really stupid. Like he lives in a pigsty. He's he's like one of the richest fucking like streamers out there. You know, at least one of, not the, but one of. And he lives in a pigsty. He lives around with like cans and wrappers and food and trays and everything around. He lives on the internet. He lives on stream. And every time he talks, it's just like, I don't even know what to talk about. I don't even know what to talk about. It's like, you can't. He literally cannot understand a fucking word that he said. No, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a heavier than that, but I, I've seen some of these documentaries. I haven't believed none of that. Hey, the game government ain't no one no, in the bad sample. No, give my 3D. Um. I have no idea what the <laughs> fuck you're saying right now. <laughs> I don't understand how so many people watch him and act as though that they can understand what he's saying. Like, I, 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 I can't. I can't. And a lot of people that I've talked to and shown him to other people, they can't understand what he's saying either. And I'm, I'm the ADHD as well. I mean, I talk a lot. I talk constantly. I've been talking for an hour and a half basically completely straight nonstop, which is what I do with every single video. And there's like, I can, I pronounce things and all this other stuff. It's just like, you see people like XQC, this kind of looks like a door. No, okay. You see people like XQC, you know, getting big. Ooh, secret tunnel, secret area. There has got to be something around here, right? You didn't just bring me off to this corner for nothing. No, anything? Hello? Ow, as I, I guess just fell off somewhere. Um, <laughs> But it's like, you see those big guys and somehow they're 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 huge and they don't do anything they just again they have the stupidest opinions they have no real like effort or value towards anything that they bring to the community and oh that's weird so they're like they're teleporters well that's kind of cool can i just jump to the next teleporter i mean that'd be kind of nice does that just kind of save me time but um but then you see stuff like that and it's just like how did they get big like how they don't do anything revolutionary. They just sit on their ass all day, just streaming the entire time. Like they didn't do anything big or huge. They, they, I guess just got lucky, which is the sad thing is like, I swear to God, like nine out of 10 of these big, great creators, huge streamers and stuff like that always say like, oh, I don't know, man. I, I just got super lucky. Like I shouldn't even make this big. It's like, yeah, yeah, you, you, you did. You, you got extremely lucky. It's just, it seems like the people that really just don't have any real opinions, people who don't really have any good opinions, people who are just not intellectually capable of holding a real conversation. People don't know anything about space or science or technology or current events or anything. Or they like, they'll look at a war in Israel and they'll be like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, but it's like killing is bad. Like, okay, cool. Thanks. Great. Awesome. It's just, you know, and then you sit here and you put in all this effort and you, you look at their you look at their thumbnails too, right? Like I watch vidIQ. I watch vidIQ a lot and vidIQ does a lot of videos on like, you know, how you can be a better creator, how you can do all this. And like not like nine out of 10 times, literally, I, I know I'm using that that point, that number again, but nine out of 10 times, literally every time you ask them about how it is that you can be a better creator and draw more of an audience, they always talk about titling thumbnails and kind of like your first 30 seconds. My first 30 seconds are usually pretty interesting to a general amount, but the thing is that people don't even click on the video to begin with. The thumbnails are good. Like my, my I mean, I understand that they're not the best, but my thumbnails are pretty decent. 
But then you look at some of these largest creators, these largest YouTubers, these largest fucking streamers, and you look at their thumbnails, it'll literally just be a fucking screenshot of the game. It'll be like, oh, like, like, it'll be like a screenshot like this. This is the screenshot. And then they'll just put their face on it being like, oh, oh my God, big O face. Like, that is not a good thumbnail. Hell, if anything, I do something just a little bit similar by just putting my own face. I mean, not my own face, but my own mask. But I put in a whole artsy, I make a whole nice big thumbnail, all lots of different contrasting colors, something to grab your attention, some wordage, something to kind of bring your attention towards a centerpiece, you know, blur out the background, bring focus towards whatever it is I'm trying to point at, stuff like that. You know, and put my face in there a little bit kind of interesting. Some, And it just, it gets nothing. It gets nothing. You look at the impressions, it'll be like, I got 80,000 impressions, which is basically the fact of someone just scrolling past it. They saw it and just didn't click on it. That's whatever. I'm not going to expect to get every single impression, every single click. That's whatever. But then people just don't click on it. And the sad thing is, is that a lot of the time people can see it. They will probably look at the thumbnail and they will think, oh, that's a really good thumbnail. I'm interested about watching it. But then they'll see that it only has like one view, two views, maybe on like 80 views. And they'll be like, oh, okay, well, no views. This video must be dog shit. And they click out of it because I, I see the viewer retention numbers. A lot of times I will get a crap ton of like first original viewer retention numbers. And then they just immediately click out, which is why I think it's like a bot thing a lot of the time, because at the same time, too, it's like, again, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You look at the largest creators and the largest streamers, and they have no style to their thumbnails. They have no creativity into their titles. It just, it'll just be like hard light. It'll just be like hard light drifter today. Great. Awesome. That's not an invigorating title at all. And still somehow they're just big. It just doesn't make any sense. Like I put in all this effort constantly and nothing ever comes of it. But I, I mean, I'm kind of just ranting at this point. I'm not going to stop creating or anything like that. I have fun making content. I enjoy it. I like getting my ADHD brain. I like getting all of my dumb thoughts. I like getting my dumb dance moves. I like getting my just in general creativity out there. I like making content. I find it fun. But at the same time, I do wish that more people got to see it and play along with it, you know, just more interactivity. Because, you know, if I'm having fun with my dumb ideas, maybe others would like to have more fun with their, these dumb ideas as well. And I can have more fun with it because they're having fun with it. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a, what do you call it? A, a, a positive feedback loop of positivity of just having fun. And how am I going to get down there to that? I have no idea. We can maybe go more left down towards that path again. We're going to have to take a look, I suppose. Um, But it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. It really is frustrating because you do everything. You do all of the research. You try to see what you, you research, what your viewers are looking up. You research where your viewers came from you research the retention rate you, you you look at the you look at the uh what do you call it the the traffic flow the traffic sources on where the traffic is even coming from what videos are coming from what things are suggesting them oh well, that's right we had this teleporter thing off to the side um you have all of that and it, you can see everything and yet you do everything to optimize exactly to what all the numbers and all the analytics and all the results and all the research and you do all that to try to minimize and pinpoint exactly what it is that your viewers enjoy and you do exactly that time and time again and still can i just walk on something down? Oh, okay <laughs> and still you get nothing and then i'll be sitting there like oh okay well i don't know why that didn't work so i guess We'll just try it again, you know, maybe I'll change it up a little bit, maybe a little bit more of a different original idea. You know, I had that video where like, oh, just have fun where I was dancing around and stuff like that. And like, it barely got any views at all, like nothing, even though it was very interactive and fun and kind of goofy and, and they had a good thumbnail that might make people think like, oh, bright, weird disco thumbnail, weird man wearing a mask that says just have fun. Like, this seems kind of odd. Maybe let's take a look at it, you know, a little bit different from the usual thumbnails. And yet somehow no one did. So I think this all goes back to what I was originally saying of like, it almost does feel a lot of times like you are a little bit shadow banned, but I don't know if it's even necessarily a thing of shadow banning. I think it's more of a thing of it just being like YouTube highly, highly, highly just promotes the bigger creators. I it's and the thing is too, like when people, you can have two creators who make the exact same video, exact same thumbnail, exact same style. You can literally have a brand new account copy like just download one of the largest creators like videos and just post it themselves just steal it right and they're gonna get nowhere near the same views they will get nothing 
because a lot of the time when people see the two videos if they see one video with like a hundred thousand or a million views they want to click on that one because that seems popular oh let's go see what the other million view video has compared to you know like oh i see this other video that's a really cool thumbnail but it only has like 20 views that doesn't seem very good i bet they're a small creator i bet the video is shit because they don't know what they're doing i better go click on the video with a lot of views because they obviously know what they're doing and yet again it all goes back to what i was saying before that their takes are fucking dog shit that that they have no real opinions and they just have the dumbest thumbnails most of the time anyway it's just ah it's frustrating it really is frustrating and especially like the other day like i like you know i like checking out just random content i look at the smaller creators and stuff like that too sometimes because i like to support smaller creators maybe because i'm a smaller creator but also because i can feel more personable with the smaller creators and i look at these smaller creators but sometimes the thing that also i uh, jump across who the thing that i don't understand is that there will be a lot a lot of times i will come across a channel that'll have like 3,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, basically nothing, right? You know, I mean, I know I just called my 10,000 subscribers basically nothing, but it is, it's basically nothing. But you look at these channels that have basically no subscribers at all, and they'll have videos that have millions of views. Like the other day, I found a channel, I don't remember what it's called. It's literally just them playing, Was it was just them playing Rocket League for about like a minute and 27 seconds. It wasn't, it, I think the title was literally just like, 1v1 tournament, I won okay um and i mean okay that title in itself is fine it was like a minute 27 it was like half recorded it was like recorded on somebody's phone of like the tv of them playing there wasn't good quality the, 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 the there was no voiceover it was just some shitty like someone just recording themselves playing the game with their phone right and that's not good at all and yet it had millions of views and it had like thousands of comments of being like, wow, great job. Oh my God, I can't wait for you to come back. All this other stuff. And I was like, they're probably all botted. But it just, it makes no sense. And it'll be like, oh, the last they posted was like a year ago. And it'll have millions of views. And like, sometimes I'll find these channels that again, still have like very little subscribers. Can I jump across? I guess I probably have to go down below somewhere. Um, Again, I'll find these channels with like little like subscribers. And the thing that I don't understand, it'll be like a channel that'll have again, like under like 10,000 subscribers. And they'll have like, seven eight nine ten videos but it'll be like oh they last posted like three months ago and then a year ago and then three years ago and then four years ago and yet every single video will have just like hundreds of thousands of views and like millions of views or like or it'll be like the video that most recently got posted will have like no views but then the videos from like a couple years ago will have millions of views and you're looking at it and you're like why like what simply just over time the video just gets views by it just being there you look at the videos and again the videos aren't good there will be like no commentary it'll be crappy quality the audio is kind of all scuffed nothing really going on the, the title will be like gameplay like okay crappy title and yet they'll have millions of views and thousands of comments and you just i cannot comprehend what it is that would be leading to that happening i, I think it might be like a time thing but at the same time I mean, my videos have been out for like a year and a half at this point, you know, me making content and you know, none of my old videos somehow suddenly like get, oh God, what the hell are you? Ah, I, I, I can't kill you. I can't kill you. Um, I, I, I want the med kit. I want the med kit. Let me go ahead and heal myself up. I don't you dare shoot me. Let me get the med kit. Ah, dodge. And we're going up. We're going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we're teleporting. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I see another turret there on the left hand side, but it's just like, Okay, so like, so maybe it's a time thing. Like maybe over time, like so, somehow it, they just more over time, more views. Okay, cool, that makes sense. Uh, dodge, dodge, no! Oh, I'm trying to commentate right now. No, leave me alone. No. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, go, 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 go. Oh God. <laughs> uh. But then it's like, okay, so my videos have been out for like a year and a half at this point, and some of my older videos don't suddenly get thousands or millions of views. I mean, understandably, my older videos are shit they're not good my older videos are crappy but you know what it's ironically that's right in line with all these other channels that i see with only very few subscribers and yet millions of views on their videos it'll be crappy videos bury any commentary crappy audio quality all this fun stuff like okay cool right in line with what my original crappy first started on content was from like years ago and those don't suddenly pop off with millions of views like i just i don't understand it like it's it, it makes you feel as though like every single time you come across one of those channels that they are just like straight just body like are they were they just laying down like a thousand dollars and just getting like a million views is that what it is just like throw, throw down a bunch of money just get a bunch of views but then you're sitting there thinking like for what purpose would they do that because when you look damn it 
when you look at these channels like to in order to get monetization you need to hit a certain threshold of watch time and and subscribers and all this other stuff in order to actually get start getting monetization so the fact that you see these videos with like almost no subscribers who even necessarily count for monetization so for them to put millions of views botted means that they're not going to get any money for it they're not doing it they're not monetized they're not they're not doing it but then you sit there and think like, oh, why would somebody spend that kind of money on something and not continue the channel? Because like I said, a lot of times these will be discontinued channels that don't post things. It'll be like from months ago, just someone just randomly posting videos of them playing games with their friends, you know? And yet they'll have millions of views. And it's just like, but why? But why? Like, you know, and then they don't continue it. They don't con keep on making content. So if they were botting it, if they were spending money on doing all these botting stuff, then you would think that they would want to continue making the content right try to cash in on that but they don't so you have to sit there and assume then it wouldn't be botted because otherwise there'd be no point in botting it if you're not going to continue along with making content fuck <laughs> god damn <laughs> they ambushed me there a real hard and i keep on forgetting that they do two damage per hit too so they, they kill you fast um so yeah you, you would think that they would continue it so but if they don't then it can't be bots so it, it just and none of it lines up none of it lines up why are these tiny channels with absolutely no content suddenly getting all these millions of views from videos from years ago that achieve nothing and then yet they continue to not to not make stuff and honestly if i was a if i was just a random person if i was just a random person who just put my video out there of me playing games with my friends and it suddenly got millions of views i would be suddenly extremely motivated to keep on making content you know if it was just a fluke of the a fluke of the draw of like somehow getting views then you know fine but I, at that point i'd be like all right let's be a creator just got millions of views and several thousand subscribers immediately all right let's go and yet you just never see that happen you never see them continue it so you're just sitting there just just why i i i don't know it's just i'm just talking myself into a big circle at this point of me not being able to understand what it is and how these things happen and, and honestly it's really come down to the point of just like what larger creators i think this all kind of rounds back to what i was originally saying is that larger creators larger streamers and all that fun stuff they have always said it really is just dumb luck and i find that just so frustrating right i mean like what you're telling me that i can put in all this effort i can make move i can make my movies i can make my music videos i can make my first original songs and all this stuff and put in all this effort and none of it is going to matter because I just haven't gotten lucky that the algorithm, the special algorithm just hasn't really pushed out the video enough for everyone to see it. You know, when you look at these videos with millions of views, like the impression rate has to be in the millions, like the beyond those. If you see a video with like a million views, the impressions, you know, remember again, impressions basically mean that the thumbnail, your video entitled was on a person's screen for maybe half a second when you're scrolling through, maybe on the right-hand side when it's suggested videos and stuff like that, that that means it was on somebody's screen. So if you see a video with like a million views, that they probably have like 10 to like 100 million impressions. Maybe not that much, but maybe something like 15 million impressions. Honestly, no, it probably could be like 100 million impressions. So you're sitting there thinking like, well, why did that suddenly get a bunch of impressions compared to something that, that didn't? Like what's, what is it that's driving that? Because even my most popular videos, my Baldur's Gate 3 video that still gets like 100 views a day, that still gets like, it's sitting at like 53,000 views, which is still not a lot. But this is a video that is steadily, steadily, continuously making views and consistently being a search result of Baldur's Gate 3, how to level up fast. It wasn't, it wasn't a good video by any means. I, I feel like I did not make a good job at doing it. But the thing is, it consistently getting views. It is consistently getting user engagement. And that still doesn't get enough impressions. It has 53,000 views and only has like 80,000 impressions. Now that's a really good rate. That's a really good rate because that basically means that majority of people who see it click on it. But that is probably because it is fitting a search term. But that is regardless. The point is, is that that should be a really good analytical data point for the algorithm to be like, oh, hey, let's promote this more because obviously people are looking at this. People are searching this up. People are wanting to see this because they are specifically searching this title. They're almost in a way specifically searching this user. Also, damn it, just died there. <laughs> um, I see another med kit up there at the top. Oh, I'm right back at the beginning of the room. Ah, you know, that would be a really good analytical day point. Like algorithms should be able to see like, oh, hey, people are consistently looking up this content, specifically this video for this creator. And yet somehow it still doesn't get as many impressions or views or anything towards something of a small creator. Again, that I've been ranting about this whole time that doesn't make videos, crap at quality. People are not searching it up and they get millions of views. It's, it, 
it all comes down to just luck. And you know how... Damn! Um... I'm getting half distracted about my rant as well, though. But it's just like, do you know how frustrating that is to sit there and basically be told that, hey, it's basically just luck. You know, this is... Am I alive? It, uh, what just happened to me? <laughs> Did I somehow go into... Okay, I got smushed into the wall. <laughs> um, but it's just like, again, vid IQ going, damn, okay, I need I need to concentrate on this a little bit better. Uh, I, I can't, I'm, I'm still ranting. <laughs> but it's just like, Again, you watch vidIQ, you watch all these tutorial videos on how to make better content and stuff like things that people are enjoying, things to look at, analytical data, data points to be looking at, stuff like that. And you do all the things right and still somehow it just amounts to nothing. You, you feel as, ah, damn it. You, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm at a loss for words. It's just like you do everything right and it just doesn't work. And it makes it even more frustrating too when I see videos like vidIQ because it'll be like, Guys, I found the secret to making viral videos for like the 20th time. If you guys want to know how to do it, here is the platform. Here is the method of doing it. And it was no joke. No joke. Literally, they made a video just the other day. Where, like, if you follow this format, ah, God. If you follow this format of making a video, then you are going to get millions of views. And they even had like a, take a look at this, at this Google doc of, of like the format of how to make this video. And it was literally just the premise of a story. It's just like, you gotta have your intro and then you gotta have the action or the rising action. And then you have to have the climax and then you have to have a resolving. So you're doing basic English class you know, thing on making a, on making a story. That, that's just writing a story. So yeah, that's, that's how most videos go. You, you start out a video, you have your intro, the rising thing is kind of playing the game, and then you have a big moment in the middle of it that the title and the thumbnail is probably even primarily about. That's your climax, and then you kind of wind down, and you get to the finish, and you kind of thank your subscribers, do all that fun stuff. Like, that's the premise of almost every single video. That's essentially what I do, and yet they have the, the goal to sit there and be like, if you, damn, come on, come on. Ugh. It's just like they have the goal to sit there and be like, if you follow this format, then you'll be rich and famous. It's just like, no, it's it's the it's, it's dumb. I mean, I understand what they're doing. They're 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 purposely making videos to give in to like for small creators to be like, oh wow, if I do this, then yeah, then they're all looking at these videos. They are also fitting the search term. I'm really not good at this. <laughs> I'm not good at this part. Um, I don't I I I, I don't know. It's probably again because I'm ranting so much, but um. You know, it's I understand what they're doing, but it's just again it all comes back to the fact of like So you're telling me that at the end of the day, even though I'm doing everything right doing everything in my power Using all of my creativity doing everything that I can to make sure that people are feeling involved and engaged and all this stuff and Good thumbnails and you know bright colors and blurring out the background and all these extra, you know cues and things and you know, Fast intros or something to get their attention and I'm doing all this stuff and I'll get like 20 views on the video like, it's like it's like why like why i didn't you know you don't see anything controversial either i know i know in this video or at least you know not this video i mean maybe i will make it into a video who knows um and at least in this part of the stream i am swearing quite a bit a little bit because of my frustration but that only really matters in the f so yeah i don't know i guess i guess that's my rant of just being frustrated about the fact of doing all this effort doing all these things doing all the correct things that you're supposed to be doing and still it just amounts to nothing it's just it's just YouTube literally being like, sorry, you're not a big creator. We're not going to show your stuff to anybody. You know, why double? Ooh, I feel like I was a guy. I should have gotten crushed there. You know, it's just like, sorry, we're just not going to show your stuff to people. It's just like, why? It's like, you know, I, I there's some videos. I have some videos out there. I was, I was looking at the analytics just like yesterday. I have some videos where it's literally like you have 800 views and the impressions are only like 2000. So you're telling me that you showed this video, my thumbnail, to only 2,000 people and almost half of them clicked on it. That is a really good, you look at, you look at the watch rate, the watch rate will be like, they watch like, like three fourths of the video, like start to drop off, like at like the 15 minute mark. That is really, really good. That is an amazing point. That is amazing for a video that like most, most content creators would die to have those kinds of numbers and it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You know, it, it it's like, okay, you're giving this great rate and YouTube will still be like, nah, we just, that not good enough. Not good enough. Not, we don't want to show it to enough people now. You know, you have a really good rate of, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ. Ah, 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 what is it? Ah, now I sound like one of them. I sound like a bird. Ah, I'm a crow. I'm a crow. Ah. <laughs> god damn <laughs> I'm trying to talk here. I'm trying to talk. Oh my God, I'm on the ground. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 
we've been peacefully going through this platform and kind of dodging things and blocks for all of a sudden and all now we're all just i'm being swarmed like a hive my god <laughs> take out all i don't want any of these wizard boys get out of here take out okay i'm gonna just throw a grenade that didn't really get any of them they got a few but not a lot i'm gonna hide behind this pillar this pillar will actually block them yeah, yeah they gotta come from the side now i'm gonna back up back up back up back up let them come to me let them come to me okay take a shot at him get this other guy he's gonna hit me no he's not nah ooh, 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 ooh. get rid of him get rid of him dodge 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 i have my pistol ammo back there we go there we go nah okay quit walking you can't hide from me there we go <laughs> jesus i'm can't you see i'm trying to do something here game <laughs> my god wow and hey we have our fourth gold coin nice there we go that, that's I know I, there's something that I have noticed a lot. I say beautiful, I say there we go a lot. You know, I don't know why those are my go-to words, especially like beautiful. That seems like the most random of words to choose out of my entire lexicon, my entire repertoire and plethora of words in which to use at my disposal in terms of my dialect. And yet somehow I consistently choose the word beautiful, you know, <laughs> whatever. I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. Oh, hey, we have found the other core, nice. There we go. Oh, God. I feel a little bit stressed out now ranting about all that stuff. I feel <laughs> I feel a little bit frustrated and angry, but like at the same time, I almost feel like kind of relieved to get that out there. Not going to lie. I probably am going to make that into a video. So, hey, if you're seeing this as a video right now, hi, congratulations. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. If you've gotten this far into the rant, please, by all means, comment down below like the video subscribe all that fun stuff i am still a small creator if this ranch has taught you anything i would really appreciate the support it is not necessary i am still going to be making content regardless i still have fun doing this i don't care if in like in 10 years i still only have like you know let's say like i don't know it, it may it took me like a year and a half to get like ten thousand. so let's say in 10 years i only have like a hundred thousand whatever i'm still going to be making content maybe not in the same you know uh quantity as you know currently which i try to do daily which ironically i was saying i was going to stop doing dailies and start doing every other day but then you know i've just been kind of on that grind lately anyway so i've just been making them back to daily regardless um because i was on a little bit of a break for a little while there i did release some videos it wasn't so much as a break as it was i was just too busy making my music video and making my first original song all at the same time so it was a very very busy like a month or two and it was, I, I find it so funny too because at first when i started when i said i was going to start doing some of that stuff I was literally like, okay, guys, I think in like week one, I'm going to make a music video. And like week two, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a video essay. And like week three, I'm going to talk about geopolitics. And uh, it took like, it took like a month and a half or two months. I forget exactly how long it took. It took a while to basically just make the music video. And what the funny thing is, I didn't even have the idea. I mean, I, I had the idea of making an original song, but it I, what wasn't my intent. It was like halfway, not even half. It was like a quarter of the way through the music video. I'm sitting here thinking like, you know what? Why don't I just make my own song? Why well, I just started to make my own song, you know? <laughs> so. I'm burning with desire. Can't you see the flames? A dreamer's heart is so on fire. But to become the one, I must climb higher.